Do you ever get the feeling that some things were just meant to happen, Mr. Rusty? said Florence. Oh, yes, Florence, said Mr. Rusty. Some people believe it's all written in the stars, that our lives are mapped out before us and we can't do anything to change them. And some people believe whatever they want to believe, said Zebedee. I wonder if we were meant to go to the Magic Garden today, or if we could just decide not to, said Florence. I think that if it's written in the stars, then we should take it as read, said Zebedee. Shall we go? I don't know, Dougal, said Brian. We Aquarians are very sceptical about astrology, on account of our rising signs, you see. Go on, take a chance, said Dougal. Come out of your shell for once. This miraculous machine you see in front of you is capable of predicting your future with a hundred percent accuracy. Take the horror out of your horoscope. For only a small amount of sugar, you might find you've got a wonderful future ahead of you. What have you got to lose, eh? <laughs> I can't imagine you'd find your life was going to get much worse. Well, seeing as you put it like that, Dougal, I might as well give it a try. This year is very important to you, as it is the year of the snail. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you know that, Dougal? Now, the path before you is overgrown with tangled roots. Oh, yes, that's true. How very true. How very true indeed. The lunar eclipse on the 24th brings out your ascendant sign, making this a good time to be open-hearted and generous, especially with sugar. That's amazing, Dougal. It's me down to the ground. It's so accurate. Oh, yes, yes. It's all written in the stars, you know, said Dougal. Can I have a go? said Ermintrude. I'm Bovarian, you know. I'd love to know my horoscope. Go ahead, please, said Dougal. We're not choosy here. This year is very important to you, as it is the year of the cow. I didn't know that. How exciting. The path before you is overgrown with tangled roots. Oh, gosh, how true. How very true. The lunar eclipse on the 24th brings out your ascendant sign, making this a good time to be open-hearted and generous, especially with sugar. Hmm. Ah, uh, quite. Yes, exactly, said Dougal. That's me to a T, Dougal, especially about my being open-hearted and generous. That's the trouble with us Bovarians. We're just so bountiful. Another satisfied customer, said Dougal. Now, how about you, Florence? Oh, yes, please, Dougal. I'll have a go. The bath before you is overflowing with mangled boots. That can't be right, can it, Dougal? said Florence. Um, yes, well, you're not supposed to take it literally. Um, just get an impression. <clears throat> uh, hello, Dylan. Got any sugar? Yeah, sure. Now is a good time to clip your toenails. Wow, deep. Excuse me a moment, said Dougal. I think I need to make a few adjustments. Oops! Oh, oh dear! Having technical problems? asked Zebedee. No, 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 just running a little low on sugar, that's all. I think it's just as well we can't see into the future. I mean, how would we ever remember to be taken by surprise? said Florence. Live for today and see what tomorrow brings. Don't you agree? Oh! <laughs>